If you're a stillwater fly fishing enthusiast, or maybe you're just getting into it and you want to learn a little bit more, today we're talking three instances in which leech patterns are incredibly effective. It's coming up on this episode of Fly Fish University TV. Good morning and welcome back to Fly Fish University. My name is Jordan Ulrich and today we are talking three instances in which leech patterns are super, super effective when you're fly fishing on still waters. I was sitting down, I'm doing a tying demonstration for our private community today and I just thought this would be, this is such a great video topic. So I flipped on my camera and, and here we are. So leeches, first and foremost, we have to understand why do they work so well? And the reason for that is that they are what they call a staple or a residual food source. Okay, so they are, uh, they're a food source that's available to fish pretty much throughout the entire year, right? So from ice off all the way up to ice on, you can have really good fishing with leeches because A, they're very familiar to fish, right? They're seeing them all the time. B, they are readily available. So leeches are, you know, it's, it's pretty simple stuff when it comes to fishing leeches, especially for me, when it comes to tying leeches, I keep it very simple. But there's three instances, I mean, there's many, but there's three instances in which I'll, I'll definitely swear by fishing, uh, by fishing leech patterns. Now, just before I get started, if still water fly fishing is your thing, maybe you're just getting into it, maybe you want to expand your knowledge a little bit, in case you didn't know, we're in the ice off window right now. So all these lakes at fairly low elevation right now are, are shedding their winter layer of ice. Fish are waking up from their slumber. And my friend Phil Rowley and I have a free three-part mini course that we're putting together called Stillwater Ice Off Tactics to help people just enjoy this ice off window to the greatest of their capacity because it is one of the best times of the year. Can have some very exciting fishing, but a lot of people miss the mark. They, they don't time it properly around the lake turnover, so on and so forth, or they're just looking in the wrong areas. They might be using the same tactics that would work good in, in later in the spring or in the summertime. They just aren't gonna work to the same degree at the ice off at the ice off period, which is where we are right now. So anyways, you can go to stillwaterflyfishingacademy.com. That's Phil and I's joint venture together. I'm super excited. It's totally free. It's three straight nights. And basically you're just gonna wake up, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get the video lessons dropped directly into your email inbox. So um, first things first, okay? For, first out of three, okay, it's right at the ice off window. Uh, I will fish leeches religiously at ice off because a lot of times fish are getting, due to the oxygenation in the lake, the lake, there's the, the stratification process hasn't taken place, the turnover hasn't started. Oxygen and water temperature, the, you know, two things that fish want, you know, a warming water temperature early in the spring and, and nice, you know, clean oxygenated water before turnover starts, they're going to find it in that shallow water, typically five to 10 feet deep, uh, even three to 10 feet deep. I've caught fish on, on leech patterns in just crazy shallow water sometimes. Um, but it's, it's important to note that right at ice off, a lot of times you're going to find fish gorging themselves on leeches. And when we see leeches at the boat launch per se, this is just a little side note on, on your fly selection. Okay, if you're, you're out, it's ice off, you know, fish are, uh, you're seeing a few of them rolling around, porpoising around. Typically, the, the leeches that we see swimming in the water at the boat launch are not the same ones that the fish are gonna be looking for. So a lot of times when fish are looking for leeches, they're gonna be quite small, especially early in the season. I like to fish really small, pretty drab, pretty non-obtrusive. Uh, presentation. So a favorite fly of mine, I've shared this many times, is, is Brian Chan's BMW. Stands for Brian's Marabou Wiggler. Awesome, awesome leech pattern. Very simple fly to tie, but works exceptionally well. Okay, so right at ice off, that's number one. And that's a super, super productive time to be fishing leeches. Uh, you know, leeches, shrimp, water boatmen, chronomid larvae, so on and so forth. But leeches really shine in that first kind of five to 10 days before the, uh, sometimes three to 10 days, sometimes two to 10 days before the lake uh, actually starts its turnover process. So when you've got that nice clear water, right when the ice comes off, you can typically catch fish uh, just suspending leeches. Again, their metabolic rate's very slow. They're just waking up from their winter time, little hibernation slumber time. And, and you're gonna be fishing, you know, pretty, pretty catatonic presentations. They're not moving all that quickly, uh, but right at ice off, a great time to fish leeches. Okay, now uh, a second time when I'll fish leeches a lot is all throughout the season, 
in the morning and uh, and the evenings, okay? So, but typically in the mornings. And the reason for that is that fish might not be out looking, let's say there's a, a chronomid or a mayfly or a damsel hatch taking place. A lot of times fish are not super uppity on them first thing in the morning, right? A lot of times they're not out in that deeper water, say finding chronomid pupa at eight o'clock in the morning, but definitely you can be catching fish right away on leeches. A lot of times they'll they'll go in and they'll just hammer on a bunch of small leeches in the shallows before they move out into the deep water and, and do their big feed for the day in, in a situation where they're feeding heavily on chronomids. So again, uh, you know, early in the morning, if I'm out on the water yeah, and I know that there's no hatch taking place, typically rather than just sitting in really deep water waiting for the fish to slide out and start eating chronomids, I'll actually go into the shallows and you can have a great time fishing leeches early in the morning. There's not many people out and fish will definitely still go in and feed on them, okay? So that's number two. And the third one, this might kind of surprise you, is immediately after a chronomid hatch starts to wind down, okay? So immediately after a chronomid hatch starts winding down, you will absolutely find fish feeding on leeches. And what this does is it actually caps their meal down. It helps them digest a little bit better. It helps them digest their food, digest that huge feed of chronomids, helps them digest it a lot better. So you'll find fish, you know, they'll poke into the shallows or they'll stay in the deep water and they'll actually look around and, and try to, you know, feed on a few leeches to keep that meal down. So it's really important to note that, you know, that, that fish will feed super heavily on, on leeches and this can extend into the evening. This can prolong some really good evening fishing. A lot of people get off the lake as soon as the chronomid hatch is done, but uh, you can buy yourself some great fishing after the chronomid feed is over by switching up to a leech pattern, you know, accepting that the chronomid feed might be done for the day, switch it out for a leech pattern and go in and fish, you know, go, go and fish in the shallows and, and you can have some great fishing for an hour, two hours, three hours after the chronomid feed is over. So again, I know this is short, but it's also very actionable because I know that a lot of people are getting into the swing of things for still water fishing this year. And, uh, and I hope that this is of value to you. So again, you can go to stillwaterflyfishingacademy.com. You can grab our Stillwater Ice Off Tactics course coming up next week. It's completely free. And we would love to see you there. Phil and I live for helping people create a better experience on still waters in specific uh, and fly fishing in general. So again, thank you so much. And I will see you on Friday's episode of Q&A Friday.